Stimulants versus non-stimulants, understanding ADHD medications. ADHD medications generally belong to one of two broad classes, stimulant or non-stimulant. Stimulants include brand names like Adderall, Vyvanse, Ritalin, and Concerta. Non-stimulants include Stratera and Intuniv, among others. So what are the important differences? 1. Stimulants. The stimulant class of medication is typically prescribed first because it works for 70 to 80 percent of children with ADHD. Stimulants increase dopamine and norepinephrine levels between the brain's synapses. They work as soon as they cross the blood-brain barrier, which takes 45 to 60 minutes. The result? Reduced hyperactivity, distractibility, and or impulsivity. The FDA has approved 29 stimulant medications. All of them use one of only two molecules, methylphenidate or amphetamine. The best choice hinges on an individual's biochemistry. Even family members may experience different results with the same medication. 2. Non-stimulants. For 20 to 30 percent of people with ADHD, stimulants do not work. They move on to try one of these FDA-approved non-stimulants, atomoxetine, clonidine, guanfacine. It often takes five to seven days to assess the full benefits of a non-stimulant medication. Sustained focus, improved mood, greater attention to detail, better memory, better sleep, and reduced impulsivity are all signs the treatment is working. How do you choose the best option? Just as nothing predicts in advance which molecule will be best for a given child, it turns out that nothing predicts the dose of medication either, not weight, height, gender, ethnicity, or the severity of symptoms, says ADHD specialist William Dodson, MD. The answer? Experimentation and patience.